How you doing? Um, we're at Doug's house. There's Doug. Say hello to Doug. Hi, Chuck. Doug's standing next to one of his water butts. I've told Doug there's a rule about water butts, right? You have to go out into your garden once a year, count all of your water butts, and add one. Yeah, you've got to do that every single year. Just keep adding one. You can never have too many water butts. But anyway, we're not here to talk about water butts. We're here to talk about Doug's solar. There's Doug, there's his water butt, and that's where his solar's going to go. Now, Doug's got a really nice house. It's quite long, so we're going to get the panels all the way along. And have, we've avoided um, scaffolding because he's got a nice flat roof he's just done for us. But we had a problem of where we were going to put the batteries. And there was a bit of an issue. And you can see where the electricity comes in at the top of the house. So what Doug's, Doug's done, we'll take this off. What Doug's done is built this really, really handy little shed. Let's go and have a quick look at it. Look at that. He's built this shed specifically for his batteries. So instead of having a solar shed, he's got a battery shed, which is what we really like. But he's made extra space for his garden to incorporate the technology. And it's going to be a very, very short cable run doing it this way because everything's nice and close. So hats off to Doug. And I'm looking forward to getting a nice four kilowatt system up here with, I think it's about 12 kilowatts of battery. And by the time we've solarized or solar, solarized that house, we'll be solar powering the whole of Doug's life.